there is an end gate having the logic that uh, if the both the inputs are one then only the output will be one if there is zero zero this is zero and zero one again zero one zero mean again zero one one mean only one this is an and gate okay this is zero this is zero and uh, the bulb is not on mean zero this is and gate symbol a and b a b and a and b zero zero mean false 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 two mean uh, zero one one zero one one false 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 two so uh, switch down as open when it is open it is uh, close it is one it is open it is zero okay when it is closed then current flows when open no current flows okay now we coming like uh, this input and it is false mean zero b mean false mean zero and the output is again zero okay now here you just look uh, like uh, this is open this is open zero zero not working like uh, this is uh, off zero and one again off mean false zero one again off because current cannot flow as the line is broken here like this is you know like one and zero again the circuit is broken at here current cannot flow this is off okay current cannot flow this is off now when the both the switches are on it gives up the light the one one mean that the one so the current can flow now so this line one one gives the one okay this is the working now the two uh, diodes np np and the two diodes are connected with the r and the power supply here this power supply positive supply making this diode forward bias making this diode forward bias in the absence of any voltage at here both the diodes are at the forward bias the current is flowing like this current is flowing like this okay as a current is flowing like this the the positive you know conventional current this uh, point comes at the high potential this point comes at the low potential potential drop you know there is a potential drop across here the c point comes at the low potential so if a is zero b is zero the y point will be at the low potential as a diode or forward bias current flowing and potential drop high potential low potential there is you know low potential mean zero now if the this voltage is applied at here positive voltage is applied at here to n this diode become reverse biased no current flows through the diode but the current is flowing this diode because this diode is forward biased by this potential again the current is flowing potential drop c point comes at the low potential so if uh, this is one this is zero again it is zero now if you know like uh, if you attach this battery at here okay this become reverse biased but this is forward biased current is flowing through this diode again this is high potential low potential though this will be zero if this positive is attached at here as well as at here both the diode are reverse biased no current flows whatever the potential at here same potential will be at c so y at y will be at the high potential in that case if a is 1 b is 1 diodes are off whatever the potential at here the same potential will appear at here so 1 1 mean 1 1 one mean diodes are off okay this is the working that the how the diode this circuit gives the logic of the and gate to so zero zero mean zero zero one mean zero okay now again the same logic with the help of the transistors the two transistors they are like a switch this transistor this transistor switch this are resistance okay uh, when both are zero zero okay and uh, both the you know like uh, the this is uh, this this is off and this is uh, you know like off there will be no signal no voltage at here so if zero and one you know like uh, one one transistor is on 
but even then the circuit is broken there will be no output at here the output will be at here if uh, at a is 1 b is 1 both the transistor are on the the current will pass and this point comes at the high potential then this will be at 1 this will be 1 only when a is 1 and b 1 both transistor are working both the transistor are on current flows through this line and the output will be high if any of the transistor is off the circuit in this line is broken so this point will be at the low potential so this is the logic like the transistor is giving the same logic as the diode was giving in my previous slide okay that uh, this is a a is 0 b is 0 output is 0 Zero one is zero, one zero is zero, one one mean one. If both are one only, then the output is equals to the one. Okay, so this is a supply, this is a transistor emitter, base collector, emitter, base collector. This N P N transistor. So input is applied at the base. So to to make the transistor on. it is necessarily to give some potential positive potential at the base if you give positive potential at the base that transistor will become on but because this is a straight line so current will flow only when the both the transistor will be on and it will possible by giving positive potential at a as well as to the b like that okay so this and get simple a b q 0000101011 mean 1 this is boolean expression q is equals to a and b a this is not a multiplication you read it like this a and b the three inputs a and b and c three inputs but uh, you know it give one only when all the inputs are one otherwise if any of the input is zero the output will be zero you see the table okay that three, you know like a b c d e f a and b c and d e and f then again the three between the three you know and operation like this this is a boolean expression a and b dot c and d again and e and f this is a boolean expression So this is, you know, I C one two three four and gets between the pin one two two inputs and one output two inputs one output two inputs one output two inputs one output. Okay, thank you. This is the end gate having the logic that.